Link, you're gonna get pruny. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's explore the village since we haven't been able to do it, you know, safely since we got here. So this is like a whole new village to us because the, all the twilight is cleared out in the area. And I'm pretty sure they're just pretty much going to say the same thing as they said in the last part, except sort of repeating themselves and whatnot. No, I would actually like to save people, if you don't mind. <laughs> so I'm going to go in here and see if there is people to be saved. Actually, I don't think there is anyone in here at the moment. No, there isn't. I don't think there's anything else to get either. So let's just leave. <laughs> We've already explored that house a little bit earlier when we uh, lit all the torches on the walls to open up the basement. So let's move on and see what is open to us. Like, for instance, this shop over here, which actually shouldn't be open. Wait, it is open right now? Really? I didn't think it would be open. Oh, it's it's actually not open, but you can go inside. This will be a shop later, and it's a rather important shop, actually. Uh, come back here when you have 200 rupees. I, I maxed out my wallet down there, so I'm good to go. What is this? Someone boarded up their house. That is crazy. Who would do such a thing? Actually, it's probably just a condemned house. So wait, I want to check the sign. That is one expensive night. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I go in this house? Yes, I can. I always like to explore areas as I go, just to give you an idea of how these places are like. And this appears to be another abandoned house. This was where that uh, shadow insect was that carried a tear of light underneath that box. Mm, Kidoki. dokie. Let's move. Uh, is, this, is the inn open right now? Yes. Okay, let's go in. Obviously, because, you know, he just walked in after I pressed the A button. Once you press the A button, you have uh, created a commitment of sorts. <laughs> uh, wow, there's... Is everyone outside or something like that? Wow, this is, like, completely pointless to explore these places again if there's no one inside the houses. <laughs> and you would think an inn you know, would be open for travelers such as myself, but no, no I guess not. Uh, what is in here? This is actually the bomb shop. Will I be able to bo buy bombs right now? That would be lovely if I could. What's up, man? Uh, I guess not. Brrr. Well, if I were to go up here... And, wait, what was that? Oh, that's the thing that I checked earlier. I don't have to check that again. That's a sign on the wall. Uh, that's to get up to the upper area. This is probably boring you. <laughs> if you just want to move on, all you would have to do is go over to the Goron area. You know, the trail up to uh, the Goron Mines. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's move on. I don't have to bore you anymore with this pointless exploration. So go up here and start your ascent to Death Mountain as a human. Now this might cause you a little bit of problems because you know they don't want humans up there. They, I mean, they, they broke down this ladder here so humans couldn't climb up and just look what I'm doing right now. This is, it's completely pointless. It seems easier to climb this actually than the ladder itself because this is fixed to the thing and well let's see hey how's it going uh i come in peace i bring much rupees oh boopers okay try and catch him try and catch him or dodge him oh that's just not gonna work yeah that's supposed to happen by the way so we cannot go through there at the moment what are we gonna do about that hmm? well let's just go back there might be something new for us, you think? And hey, how's it going? Yes, I was. It did not go well. 
Hmm. Who might that be? Bo. Why, yes, I do know him. And how could he help? Hmm. True. Speaking of, where is my horse anyway? It's kind of weird, hey? I mean, it, I mean, a no pay is just gone without a trace. Or is she? Yeah, that's basically what happened. They took a no pay away from us. But she's back. However, she's very frightened at the moment. Get on her! And now you gotta stay on her. This is like a little mini game of sorts. Just move the control stick in the direction it tells you to. Stay on to a Epona. See, I mean, an OP. Dang it. Sit. Oopsie. <laughs> eh. Hold on. Hold on. Just watch the arrow and not a Epona. I mean, an OP. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, you just gotta watch the action icon at the bottom of the screen. It's really easy to follow. I flubbed it the first time, though, but whatever. And she is back! So that means we can now use gra- Why did you interrupt me? We can now use the uh, horse grass to call Anope back to us whenever we want to. Definitely! So much faster! So yeah, now we've got to go back to uh, Ordon Village, but there is one thing along the way that I would like to grab, if you don't mind. But let's hop the fence, and it is... Uh-oh. <laughs> Cannot skip these events, of course. Normally I would cut forward, but when there's events on the way back, you know, you just can't cut forward, especially when they're interesting. Oh shoot, someone told me in the comments how this is pronounced. Uh, that, uh, pretty human's name. But I completely forgot about it. I mean, I completely forgot it. I am the worst person ever and I should check this instead. So I'm just not going to say the name just because. <laughs> um... In other words, we will see her and her son in the next dungeon. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, remember this bridge that we hauled over here with Midna? Well, go over to... Wait, by the way, I should tell you. You can run into enemies and actually cause damage to them. That's pretty interesting. But what you want to do is go over to here. Stop. And probably, preferably kill that enemy. You. Yes, you. Just so it isn't, doesn't get in my way. Now you'll see on top of this pillar, there is a heart piece in the distance. I think you know what to do based on what I showed you before with that tree. Now that we have five pieces of hearts, it increases our life by one. Woo! Woo! Yeah! All right. Now let's go back to the village. I don't remember if there's any other events on our way back there, so I'm not gonna cut forward too much. Well, actually, I, I won't cut forward at all, because that seems kind of odd to do so. I mean, we're just getting to uh, reunite with Anope anyway, so it's pretty cool to be able to show you how quickly you're able to go through Hyrule Field with her, and she is definitely the best mode of transportation at this point in the game for you. Just look how quickly we got back here already. <laughs> and here we are. Boy, wouldn't that be embarrassing if I went through the wrong uh, opening? I mean, the wrong pathway through Hyrule Field. <laughs> but no, I knew that was the right path. Ah, so beautiful. So serene. I've overwhipped my horse. <laughs> I need to watch that gauge a little better and let it recover more. 
And as long as we're back here, we might as well get one of those hidden skills, if you recall. Remember that stone that I played that uh, wolf rendition of the Song of Healing? Would you look at that? Let's do this! I don't know which one this is, though. <laughs> I don't have them memorized. Indeed we do! And this pleases me greatly. I do. Why wouldn't I be? Who wouldn't want to learn a new skill? Alright, first, the ending blow. <laughs> Pressed the A button a little bit early there. <laughs> but that's okay. It all worked out. Indeed, it's very easy. It's like doing a jump attack when you're next to an enemy. Oh, the shield attack. Just shake your nunchuck forward to, uh, like, stun the enemy and then just attack wildly. Like so. Oh, well, Z-targeting. I forgot to mention that. Alright. Like that, and then attack. How did I lose my Z-targeting? I was holding the button the entire time. <laughs> well, it worked, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Sure! I was a tad late. Sort of like deflecting Phantom Ganon's attacks back with um, your sword in Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, etc., etc. Except with your shield. Woo! New skill! But knowing myself, I will probably not use it all that much. <laughs> I'm a rather a simple player, I stick to the basics when it comes to combat. So I'll probably just end up, like, not using that all that much to deflect attacks and probably just, like, jump to the side to dodge attacks instead, just out of sheer instinct. Just how I roll, I suppose. Alright, so... Let's go back to the village. And, well, not just to the village, to Mayor Bo's house. Oh, this this next thing is oh so good. I love this so much. <laughs> no one, and I mean no one, could have possibly expected this uh, when they first played the game. So here we are. Yes, I am back. Aren't you happy to see me? Yes, you are. Look at his eyes; they're twinkling with glee. <laughs> Otherwise, he doesn't open his eyes very wide very often. Yeah, sure. Yep. Needless to say, Link told the story. Despite his inability to be able to speak. Hmm. <laughs> oh, big eyes. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but I guess it kind of works. It was like the sound representation of his expression. <laughs> of hyperness. I don't know what the heck I'm saying at this point. It's that craziness beginning to seep back in, I suppose. So... Yeah. What are we going to do about the Gorons there? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, really? Interesting. Wait, what secret? Ah, sure. This I can do. I have to get up there, so I must keep the secret. Mm, Okie dokie. Yes, sumo wrestling. <laughs> we have to sumo wrestle him to get the thing to get up the mountain. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, this is, just, this is just so ridiculous, but it's so much fun. So A to slap and control stick to sidestep. Now nah, I'm good. Let's do this! A button to grab. Uh, no, a button to push back and to dodge to. <laughs> it's a lot of button mashing at this point here, and it's quite easy to do actually. I didn't even bother sidestepping whatsoever. <laughs> Despite how scrawny Link looks in comparison to Bo here, he does a pretty good job. <laughs> He's strong enough to repel him, but the second one's a little bit tougher. Okay, I'm going to sidestep. And I'm going to sidestep again. Oh, I missed. Oh, poop, I mistimed it. Attack me. Oh, I was a little late. No. Sidestep. Yeah, there we go. That's the timing I'm looking for. Sidestep. Oh, no. No, dog. How dare you slap me. No. Dang it. I'm going to go around the outside and attempt to move you back. Uh, no! Arr! I'm not used to doing this. <laughs> but this is still very fun. Oh! Ow! My nipple! Arr! This way! I'm getting close! Getting close! Maybe I should be going under him the second time. Yeah, that's it. He, he moves in a pattern. It's... Sidestep the first, then A button to dodge him underneath him the second time. How did I not recognize that? I don't know, but I still won, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, what is the secret anyway? Am I just supposed to sumo wrestle him? Well, no. Let's just open the chest and see what it is. <laughs> Yeah, basically, they make you so heavy that you'll be able to throw them around as opposed to them throwing you around. Maybe they work on mass or something like that. <laughs> Not physical strength. So, uh, I wouldn't, I definitely don't recommend you wear these boots all the time because they are really, really heavy as per their name. Like, I'll just put them on. I guess I can't put them on indoors. <laughs> That's weird, so let's go out. And... Let's test them out. Yeah, that's why you don't want to have them on all the time, because they make you really, really slow. But anyway, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Oh, wait, 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 I, I, I keep forgetting to... Uh, make a video on this, but I might as well mention it now. Uh, something about YouTube is cutting off the bottom of my videos, or like the text and stuff like that. Maybe the top two. I don't know exactly how it works because I can't see the bug on my end, but I assure you that it's not my video editing problem here. It's, it's on YouTube's end, so I can't really do anything about it. YouTube's been ridiculously buggy lately, in case you didn't realize that. So, yeah. Well, It'll be fixed eventually, I hope, <laughs> but in the meantime, I suppose you can still follow along, even though if you won't be able to read some of the text on the screen because it's slightly cut off. You could always go back through the parts and watch them again, I suppose, but at least the video player is working, you know, in general, right? <laughs>